and welcome to the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. My name is Stefan Merek and I will be your instructor. So we are starting in five minutes, but please try to pay attention to this lecture. So we are going to prepare for the Cloud Practitioner exam. The code is CLF C01. It is a challenging certification, so this course is going to be long and interesting. And it is good if you have some basic IT knowledge, but don't worry if you don't come from an IT background, I will explain everything for you as well. In this course, we're going to learn a lot. We will cover over 40 AWS services out of the 200 plus that exist in AWS. If you are a beginner in IT and AWS, do not worry. You are welcome to this course and you will learn a lot, but take your time. It's not a race. You will learn a lot every day by doing little by little. Then this course is a bit special because I want you to learn also by doing. It's a key learning technique in this course. So this course will mix both theory lectures and where necessary, hands-on, where you can follow along with me in the course by creating your own AWS account and reproducing what I do on screen. So now we're preparing for a certification. I want to show you the type of questions you're going to get. So this is a sample question from the exam, which says which AWS service would simplify the migration of a database to AWS. And we'll have four answers, Storage Gateway, Database Migration Service, EC2, and Amazon AppStream 2.0. Now this course is going to cover most of the services. For example, the first service we will learn in this course. The second service, the name is obvious, it is the answer to the question. That is the correct answer and we will cover this, this service as well. For EC2, we will learn as well. And it is possible in the course to have services that will be called distractors. So they will not be covered in the course because there are over 200 services in AWS, but they will appear at the exam as a wrong answer. So in this course, I want to focus on the service that I know are core to AWS and that will come up in the exam, but I will not focus on explaining you the distractors because that would make too much information into your head. If you're interested into checking out the sample questions for the exam, you can use this link. So now that we know a little bit more about the exam, I want to introduce myself. My name is Stefan Merrick and I will be your instructor. I am nine times certified on AWS out of 12 certification and that's so far. I'll be going for the 12 certifications, hopefully before the end of the year 2020. I've worked with AWS many years. I've built websites, applications, and streaming platforms, and I've been teaching about AWS for a long time. I teach about many AWS certifications, CloudFormation, Lambda, EC2, and other courses. As you can see, over 300,000 students have learned alongside with me and have received over 100,000 reviews. I think you are in good hands. So if you want to connect with me, you can follow me on LinkedIn, you can follow me on Medium, Twitter, as well as GitHub. So welcome to AWS. You are going to get certified and you're going to get the first certification in AWS called the Foundational Certification for AWS Cloud Practitioner. This is a great first choice, but this is pretty high level. If you want to deepen your knowledge and get more technical about AWS, then after this course, I would recommend you tackle the Associate Certifications. Then, if you're really an aficionado of AWS and want to learn more and more and more, the specialty exam and the professional exams are really difficult and will test your in-depth knowledge. In this course, we're just going to prepare for the foundational knowledge necessary to pass with flying colors the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner examination. Finally, I said we are going to practice in this course. So you may have a question, which is how much will this course cost me? So this is how much it costs me at the end of this course, $12.70. But I want to tell you right away that most of the services we'll use in this course will be within the AWS free tier. So there is a chance for you to have a cost of zero. Now, if I use a service in this course that will cost you money, I will mention it and I will leave you the option to not do the hands-on with me and just watch me do. For example, the most expensive item in here is the registrar because I purchased a domain name so a new URL, for example, stefanccp.com. You can read more about the free tier at this URL if you're unsure about if something is going to cost you money or not. Or you can just come back to this slide and then see based on the service we're watching if it's going to cost you anything or not. As I mentioned, most of the services we'll be using will be within the free tier. So don't worry there, I'll be guiding you all along the way. I am super happy that you're here with me in this course and I wish you a happy learning.